Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bits and more. Link in the description below. I welcome back to YouTube's Madden fans. This is Madden Moish. I bring you another Madden 18 video. This is probably going to be the last of my Budget Beast series. I basically was just doing that leading up to Madden uh, 18 coming out. And Madden 18 coming out on the 17th for me anyway because I have an Xbox and I'm paying the 5 bucks. Uh, but for you guys that don't, if you're excited as I am and you want to basically see what a good roster is going to look like, head over to Mudhead.com. You guys can basically, I'll show you how. You just hit database here, Madden 18. I'm not even sure actually I'm wrong. I'm in the wrong section already. It's Team Builder, Madden 18. And then you click on that and you can basically do what I I did here but basically i put together an all budget beast team um, this is the first time i actually did anything with linemen and my thought process is real simple i didn't do the backups because i really don't care that much but i basically when i create my offensive line like in a salary cap or whatever i just want my left tackles to be athletic and good pass blockers and that's what these guys are dylan gordon and brandon strick these guys are pretty cheap on the interior linemen i basically look for strength especially in my center position because center you want a guy that can make a hole uh, run blocking if you guys don't know that's essentially how long i hold the block where strength is eventually is, is essentially against another defensive player's strength. It tells you if they're going to basically push a guy out of the way. So I want guys that push people out of the way. And Russell Bodine's 90 strength is essentially the type of guy that's going to push people out of the way in the center. Since I run a lot of dives and run up the middle quite a bit, I want a guy that can do that. He holds the block pretty good. I think he had something in the 70 range um, if, as far as run blocking. That's pretty good. So he'll hold his block. But what I really want him for is to move people. And then when it comes to the guards, I really just want high run blocking. A lot of times you run plays where you got a guy that's pulling. Uh, so you want a little bit of athleticism. Uh, but basically your guards, you know, you, you want those guys to hold their block. Uh, but I'm pretty happy with my lineman there. Then I get to my tight end. Evan Ingram's the fastest tight end in the game. So I got him starting, 85 speed. That's all I really care about. His catch stats aren't really that great, but they're not really that bad either. Not a run blocker. My backup, though, you always have to have at least one backup tight end that can block. And Jared Cook is one of the highest run blocking uh, uh, tight ends at a 74 uh, run block, at least in this position that he's in. He's 81 overall, but he's also a really good receiver, A speed, really good catching stats. So he could have easily started. And then Demetrius Harris, this guy, uh, six foot seven, really good athlete. Getting to the receivers, my all-star receiving core in gold, uh, Mar Martavius Bryant. I went over this guy. He's just an animal. Six foot four, great speed, 64 or 86 speed. Um, I also got John Brown. Uh, I want a nice speedy guy in the slot, and he's got some of the higher catching stats. I could have went a lot of ways as far as speed, but I liked his catching stats compared to some other guys, so I went with him. Uh, Taylor Gabriel on the outside. This guy here, not too tall, but I'm going to send him deep every play. He's got some of the best catching stats. I mean, he could easily have been um, my slot receiver the same way. A lot of the guys, a lot of these guys, you can pick and choose. Uh, another good outside guy, uh, Chris Conley, a great athlete, jumping a 90 jump with a six foot three, good speed. You know what I'm saying? Not the best hands, though. That's why I didn't make the starting spot. Rashad Perriman's kind of the same way. 6'2", 88 speed. But take your, take your pick. These guys are all really good. And then J.J. Nelson, I got another really good speed guy. Running back, I went Tevin Coleman. Um, I can't go cheap all the time. 83. He just, he's just he got enough speed to get inside and outside. Enough power, I feel, to be an every down back. And I couldn't really find that in the gold. Uh, Tariq Cohen, though, my third down back. This guy right here, I love this guy. The human joystick, rookie out of Chicago. I wanted the Eagles to get him. His 90 agility. Great speed, uh, should have pretty good hands. He's definitely a good guy coming off the bench. And then I also want a, a good power back, a guy that's just a straight power back. And I found Samaji Freeman look pretty good. His 84 acceleration is all I really care about. He had one of the highest strengths. Um, his 81 speed is not that impressive, but you, when you're running inside, it really doesn't matter. You really just need good acceleration to get to the hole, and you need to be able to fall forward. And I felt like he had all the attributes to do that. Like I said, one of the higher running back strength in the entire game. At the quarterback spots, I really had a, a, an issue um, having to basically choose throw power versus uh, speed. And the two guys that I picked with speed, Mariota and Taylor, were both very fast, but their throw power stank. So I went with Joe Flacco as a starter because I really think that's more important. At the end of the day, when you're passing, you need to throw. If, if I got to move on them, I got to move on them. I'm not going to be running too much, but I'd much rather have that. Uh, looking at my fullbacks there, they're all just pass block, or I'm sorry, they're all run blockers with the exception of Jameez Alawale. Alawale is basically just the fastest fullback. A lot of people know about him, though. I don't think he's going to be cheap. Uh, but that's my offense. On defense, I actually missed a halfback. On defense, we're going, um, you know, my first pick, uh, Ray Lewis. I'm pretty sure I'm going to end up with Ray Lewis, the middle linebacker, uh, the go-to lead. Um, he's got the highest strength by far, pretty good speed. My second pick, though, Demario Davis, is actually faster 
and he has a strength that's in the range. I think his strength is second to in middle linebackers. So this guy here might be, if you don't pick Ray Lewis, he might be a really good replacement. Uh, moving down a little bit, I want to pick a guy that's a good, um, you know, pass defensive player. So Hassan Reddick has one of the highest speeds at 83, and Xavier Goods got one of the highest speeds at 82. So you got plenty of uh, a good uh, run coverage guy, or I'm sorry, pass coverage guys that you can use here with those backup guys. Uh, but you're good all around linebackers. I think two of the best are Demario Davis and Ray Lewis. Outside linebackers that want speed and start, Michael Kendricks, um, A2 speed. You know, you can't go wrong with this guy. He, his hip power went down quite a bit. He's not the player that he was. Uh, Bud Dupree, another guy, really good speed, but he, his hip power is still really high. Uh, as far as the backups go, my first two backups are zone coverage beats. JT Thomas, 79 zone, one of the highest you're going to find. And Shaq Thomas, 80 zone, one of the highest you're going to find. That's in, in lower rated cards. There's some guys with higher ones, but those are really high. Essentially, they're both 80, 80 zone guys. Then I go down a little bit lower. I want some, I want some guys that can stop the run. You got to have guys for situations. You don't know who you're going to play. So I got these guys that have really high strength, 80 uh, strength outside linebacker Alden Smith. Um, that's one of the better ones you can get to hold that line of scrimmage. And then Cassius Marsh. This guy right here, I didn't even put in my original video. His 85 hit power is 85 block shed. He's not the fastest guy, 77. Still pretty good though. But those hit powers and block sheds and pursuits are some of the highest in the game. Like like top 20 at least, all of them. So this guy right here, like I said, he doesn't quite crack my top you know, starting line just because he's not quite the speed that I want. But he's a guy that I definitely want in my life. Not a lot of people know about him. Going to the safeties, Adrian Amos. I wanted speed. Also, one height. He's got that. Um, he's one. Of, he's the fastest safety in the game right now. And like I said, six foot, pretty good. Uh, good zones, everything. Really good all-around guy. He's a little bit more expensive because he's an A2 overall elite. Obi Melifamu though, great backup. A6 speed, 89 acceleration. That's about maxed out. Six foot four. That's about maxed out. Um, you know, everything else is kind of underdeveloped. TJ Green, the guy I used a lot last year. Um, very fast, very tall. Six foot two, six foot three. Uh, A6 speed. I mean, you can't go wrong with that. You just need guys that can stay deep, you know, play play on the ball. Uh, Desmond Southworth is another guy, A6 speed, six foot two. Um, you know, there's a lot of guys that you just want height and speed because they're your, they're your safety blanket. They got to be able to go up and get after that ball. Jamal Adams, six foot one, 85 speed, has some of the better, um, you know, one of the better rookie cards in this game by, by far. And then Tyrus Taylor, another rookie, six foot three, 85 speed. Not a lot of people know about this guy. Um, he's going to be a monster. I don't even think he's on the Browns anymore. I think he got cut by them already. But then we get to the cornerbacks. Marshawn Lattimore, I got him for free. Did the uh, rookie premieres. He's a monster, 88 speed guy. You know what I'm saying? You can't go wrong with him. He's going to be a uh, a, cu a cover corner, shutdown cover corner for me all year long. Six foot one with 88 speed. Uh, Steven Gilmore, I used quite a bit last year. One of the more expensive guys, but has some of the best hands in the game at almost 80. Um, you know, he's not the fastest. 86 is pretty good though. 89 acceleration. This guy's one of my favorite. He's just such a good corner, a perfect number two corner. And then we go to uh, the slot, Jamar Taylor. This is one of the higher guys, one of the highest hit powers in the game. I already said at cornerback in a previous video. Um, you know, great speed, everything. Just an all-around great player, great acceleration. So in the slot, when you got speedy receivers, you need a guy that can cut on a dime. And Jamar Taylor is that guy. Uh, as far as going with the cheaper backups, Ronald Darby, a uh, great speed guy. And Kevin King, six foot three. I keep shouting this guy out. He he almost started for me. Couldn't quite do it though. I had to put somebody with a little bit higher zone ahead of him. But 85 speed with six foot three. That's the type of guy. It's gonna be hard not to start him. But I had to be. I had to give it. I had to keep it real. I mean, I'm saying like I really, <laughs> I'm really looking at that guy like he's the next Richard Sherman in this game, and he might very well be. Then we go to the defensive line. I actually got this backwards. I want Miles Garrett starting. Yeah, Miles Garrett's a better starter than Mario Edwards. Mario Edwards Jr. is a really well-rounded player, and that's why he makes the backups. But I really got Frank Clark. Uh, and uh, Miles Garrett starting. I mean, Miles Garrett, he is just an outstanding card with the 89 strength. I mean, he's going to shut down and run. 78 speed's really good, too. This guy's a great looking rookie card. Uh, the other team elite that I'm going to pick, other than Ray Lewis, is probably Aaron Donald. So I got him. He's one of the uh, fastest cards in the game. We're right out the gate. This 80 overall Aaron Donald is also one of the strongest. I mean, this guy right here is a really good card that they're giving you uh, for free, and I wasn't really a fan of a lot of them. The second defensive tackle I got is Solomon Thomas, another guy, one of the fastest and one of the strongest right out the gate. It's amazing that these two cards, if you look at them compared to the rest of the cards out right now, those are probably the best two defensive tackles, easy, and they both could be had at a bargain bin price. And then um, backups I got. Uh, Malik McDowell, another rookie. Uh, he's kind of in the Solomon Thomas light category. Like he's just a lot like him, but a lot less. Um, and then Steven Paya, the, the strongest defensive tackle in the game at an 82 strength. Uh, so he's definitely a good run stopper. He can hold that hole. And then Starla Tule, another guy, strength, 90. Uh, block shedding's a little bit better 
I think the style two ways. I'm not really sure if I got that right. Um, actually, it's, uh, it's a little bit less, but he's kind of the same category. That's why he's all the way at the bottom. So you got guys that can hold the point of attack there, let your playmakers make plays. Uh, Az Awa, Az I can't say his name. As far as right end go, though, he's, he's the fastest uh, at a budget price. Uh, Charles Tapper, a guy I used a lot last year, really good to get after the pass rush type of guy. He's one of my favorite budget beast cards. It was a silver last year, 79 speed, um, 82 acceleration is really top notch, and he's just a, he's a, he's a pretty strong guy to point of attack with a 74. Dante Fowler Jr., another guy who's just a really good speed guy. So that's it. That's the uh, that's the whole team. I didn't mess with the chemistries too much. Um, you know, I'm not. Uh, it's, that's not really what this is about. This is about all budget beast guys. You can see my team's just around an 80, and I, you can see how easily I could add a couple of good players and have this team really high. I mean, this is all um, really lowly rated cards. So uh, that's just some ideas for you guys. Uh, but this is pretty much what my team's going to look like day one, and I'm going to be rocking it. So I can't wait. Uh, like I said, 17th, I'll start putting out regular videos, and that should be about the same day that this comes out. So uh, stay tuned for that. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Money shit out.